Mary was a walk and talk and lab experiment She studied rap music without ever hearing it She was born deaf, congenitally So she had no way to check, check out the melody She became a scientist and studied the brain She could watch it change while you listen to Lil Wayne She could strap a subject into a scanner And play them Jules Montana, Eminem and David Banner She could see the spreading waves of Alpha, Beta, Gamma When designer would say Panda, 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 Panda She wanted to know whether the physical facts could ever match the experience of listening to rap So she gathered every physical fact in the universe Relevant to this music that she had never heard Indulge me, it's a thought experiment Every physical fact that exists, she was aware of it And once her brain was suitably enhanced The last step was a set of cochlear implants She cues up a song on the boombox Something old school from Illmatic by Nas The Thief's theme, the play me at night, they won't act right The fiend of hip hop has got me stuck like a crack pipe Got me stuck like a crack pipe, got me stuck like a crack That flow is so menacing, but the question is, does Mary learn anything? Remember, she already knew everything, and not just everything you know, every single physical cause and effect that exists. Are you picturing this total omniscience? No cheating. She's not just really smart, Mary comprehends every single part of the physical brain Right down to the atom, every neuron, every synapse, every pattern So was it beyond anything even she could imagine or was she like, nah, that's what I thought would happen The basic unit of the nervous system is the neuron it's a fairly complex cell, but its basic job is simply to transmit electrical and chemical signals. And the human brain has 86 to 100 billion neurons. There's more connections in the human brain than there are stars in the Milky Way. Think about that. So we have a whole inner cosmos inside of our head. So the brain is basically like an information processing machine. Everything that you experience from the moment you wake up from a deep dreamless sleep until you go back to sleep again or into a coma or death. Everything you experience, your thought, your emotions, your sensations, they're all being encoded in these neurons firing in this information processing machine. But what's really interesting is that much of what's happening in your brain is actually happening outside of awareness. And it's a myth that we only use 10% of our brain. We actually use all of our brain. None of it is redundant. But we're only conscious of very little bit of it. But much of what's happening that's affecting your decisions you're making, your behavior, it's happening because of processes that are occurring unconsciously.